eke a kua, e na kini a kua, na auma kua, na kupuna i hala, na kama aina, na malihini, na keiki i ka wā mahape. Aloha, aloha kāko e. You know, it is with great pleasure that the Hawaii Tourism Authority welcomes you all to this 2024 Hawaii Tourism Conference here in Hawaii, ne, the Hawaiian Islands. Whether you are visiting from afar across the globe or you're part of our local ohana, we are thrilled to have you here today to join us in this exciting gathering with minds that are dedicated to the vibrant and evolving tourism industry here in Hawaii. Over the next few days, you'll be hearing from some of the most innovative minds in the industry, participating in our dynamic discussions, exploring new trends, and figuring out how we can shape a brighter, more regenerative tourism model for the future of tourism here in Hawaii. You know, tourism plays a vital role, and we all know that, in our economy, also our communities, and everyday lives. You know, it helps bridge our cultures, fosters understanding, and creates memorable experiences for the people from all walks of life. However, with such great influence, all comes with a kuleana, that responsibility. And as HTA guides the future of tourism in Hawaii, Beyond the economic value, we have to look at focusing on sustainability of our communities, respect for our natural environment, and the preservation of our cultural heritage. The HD serves as that critical bridge, linking the public and private sectors to the integrate and balance the interests of government, the visitor industry, and visitors, as well as our own state residents. But before we dive into some of this great knowledge sharing and important conversations, I want to extend a heartfelt welcome and mahalo to everyone who has made a part of this event possible, to our dedicated volunteer board of directors, as you can see here, our sponsors, oh yes, volunteers. 11 dedicated and hardworking individuals that have uh, guided us through much turbulence, but they have wonderful vision and ideas, and we'll be working closely with them and with you all here today. So please say hi to them when you see them here. Also our sponsors, and more importantly, each of you bringing your passion, your expertise, and your vision to help us guide the state. Let us approach that conference this conference with open minds, a spirit of collaboration, and shared commitment to protecting and nurturing the very thing that makes Hawaii so special. In the ever-evolving world of travel, we know that tourism today is more about just sights and experiences. It's about connections. Travelers seek authentic experiences and stories, meaningful relationships, and deeper understanding. And here in Hawaii, those connections are deeply rooted in respect for our land, the traditions, and its people. And as industry leaders, you all, we have a responsibility to foster those sustainable practices and protect our islands while offering experiences that are true to our culture and spirit. So together, we can ensure the future of tourism in Hawaii remains as vibrant and meaningful as the islands themselves. And how are we going to do that? To guide tourism in Hawaii, we have set goals over the next five years to stabilize and optimize the engine of our economy to realize tourism's potential for Hawaii's people. So in the next, over the next year, we'll be looking to stabilize, which means recovering demand from our domestic markets from the US and Canada and start to rebuild our international visitations with visitors who can afford to come here 
it, no matter what the varied economic conditions could be. And in the next three years or so, we'll be looking at optimizing and focusing on the destination itself, on the aina, on the island-based systems that we have. The legislature recently granted us five new island-based destination managers. We will work over the next year, three years, to establish a comprehensive system to work with them and drive tourism and tourism decisions at an island-based level where we know we can make the best effects and be efficient in our systems. And then, over, by five years from now, you will see that the Hawaiian Islands will shift to a successful regenerative tourism model where visitors come to rejuvenate through cultural tours, volunteerism, and educational experiences, all powered by the Hawaii Tourism Authority. So let's quickly look at what does stabilized mean to us. As we look right now, our focus must be twofold. First, we must recover demand domestically, as we all have been experiencing, tapping into that latent strength of the US and Canada markets, and encourage them to rediscover the beauty and experiences that Hawaii has to offer. At the same time, we need to aim to rebuild our international presence, attracting visitors from around the world who seek meaningful, authentic experiences, especially those who have the capacity to travel regardless of fluctuating economic conditions. In Japan, the Hawaii Specialist Program membership has grown to over 60,000, including 38,000 general consumers and 21,000 travel trade. In Korea, we recently did a promotion uh, which achieved 616,000 impressions for just the one month and reached 334,000 viewers. Our Europe, we just came back from a Europe travel mission over 12 days and engaged 386 travel advisors. And in Canada, we were voted the agent's favorite Asia Pacific Tourism Board because of the efforts that generated 166 Hawaii-based articles and 39,000 digital impressions. And we've also seen that our LLA program assisted in securing 79 million in economic impact in the first half of 2024 through five booked events alone. In August, 680 U.S. agents completed our online Hawaii Destination Specialist or Island Specialist Education courses. And another 500 advisors were educated through travel trade. In just the first half of 2024, our island visitor bureaus collected and coordinated and supported over 200 FAMS, press trips, and educational sessions. These are all things that we've been doing to marketing that has been powered by the Hawaii Tourism Authority. To optimize, looking at Hawaii just not as a destination, but a living and breathing paradise. It's the aina that we know. And over those next three years, we will be working closely to ensure that the values of Malama and Kuleana and our unique traditions with the world and its partnership helps ensure that the magic of Hawaii continues to thrive for generations. Over 1,000 students from 52 schools across the state participated in our Lead, Explore, Inspire, the LAY program. So we're building that new workforce so that we can work at an island level to challenge ourselves to, be, to integrate tourism into our day-to-day -day life. In the ever-revolving world of travel, we look to realize in the future, in the next five years, we know that tourism today is about more than just the sights and experiences. It's about connections, travelers seeking that authentic stories. And to do that, we need to change the product that we have here. So we'll be focusing, as I mentioned, over the next five years to develop new products that are more in line with a regenerative experience to change the brand beyond just the sun, sea, and surf, to look at something that we all can support as residents and the visitor industry and still make an economic impact. Our new volunteer tourism database that was launched back in March of 2024 has already documented 600 volunteers and 1,800 
hours of service. Our new sporting event, Navahine Okekai, if you all watched yesterday, we uh, dedicated $100,000 worth of support, but those camera views and right on the right live shots right off the boat were worth every bit of it, and it supports our communities. Those clear shots from yesterday, if you watched the live coverage, it, it also supported our communities on Molokai to enjoy a fair that they hardly ever have an opportunity to be exposed and to meet others from all across the state. And yet the fair brings a lot of economic value as well, creating and buying, people being able to buy local products from Molokai. So what does tourism do here in the Hawaii tourism? So the money that the Hawaii tourism brings to the state is $2.4 billion in state tax revenue. And 42 local businesses have been certified for a curated quality assurance program. So making sure that as we switch to these regenerative tourism products, everybody is in a line and we can start to promote the high quality programs that we so surely need. Tourism brings $21 billion in visitor spending. It supports 212,000 jobs. And tourism that we've been seeing, four out of every five visitors consider their experience an excellent time and are willing to come back and spread the word to their friends and family. And more importantly, we know that the, vis the residents are continuing to support tourism and they see benefit in it with more than half striving to support tourism and work with our industry to see a better future for their lives. And all of this is powered by the Hawaii Tourism Authority and the efforts that they've been doing and the money that the legislature has provided to us. So over the next few days, you will share knowledge, engage in these discussions, and spark new ideas, I'm sure, on how we continue to showcase Hawaii and its world-class destination. And while we still stay true to our values of Malama and Kuleana, together we can all build the future where tourism enhances our communities, strengthens our environment, and brings prosperity to all. I encourage you all to take the richness that is Hawaii, the Hawaiian Islands, its landscape, its people, and its stories, and carry those experiences into the important work we'll do every day here at the conference. Mahalo nui for being here. Now let's make this conference one to remember. Mahalo kako. Aloha.